This question is from Git Mechanical Engineering of 2013. This is question number 30. The question is a steel ball of diameter 60 mm is initially in thermal equilibrium at 1030 degrees Celsius in a furnace. It is suddenly removed from the furnace and cooled in ambient air at 30 degrees Celsius. The convective heat transfer coefficient H is equal to 20 watt per meter square Kelvin. The thermophysical properties of steel are the density of steel is 7800 kilogram per meter cube. The conductivity is 40 watt per meter Kelvin and specific heat C is equal to 600 joule per kilogram Kelvin. The time required in seconds to cool the steel ball in air from 1030 degree Celsius to 430 degree Celsius is so this problem can be solved using lumped parameter approach. Now the important thing to remember here is that we can apply lumped parameter only when the biot number is lesser than 0 0.1. Okay, so let's calculate biot number for this problem. So bi, the biot number is given by h upon k into l, the characteristic length. Now according to the problem, h is equal to 20 watt per meter square Kelvin k is 40 watt per meter kelvin and l is 0 0.06 meter okay so from here this will be 20 upon 40 into 0 0.06 which is equal to 0 0.03 and this is less than 0 0.1 so for this problem lumped parameter approach is applicable right so according to lumped parameter approach suppose the ball a steel ball now it is in free stream temperature of t infinity and its initial temperature is let's say ti and it has to gain the temperature t okay these all values are given in the problem it can be found using the formula t minus t infinity divided by t initial minus free stream temperature is equal to e to the power of negative of heat transfer coefficient h the area of the steel ball surface area divided by the mass of this steel ball so mass will be volume into density so this is rho is the density of steel into the volume of steel multiplied by its specific heat capacity into time okay we can use this formula to find time taken to reach its final temperature so t is the final temperature that we need to gain okay and we need to find the value of small t that is the time taken so if we take log both side we can write ln t minus t infinity divided by t i minus t infinity is equal to negative h a by rho v c into t and we need to find this t okay now let's substitute all the values so this is ln t is the final temperature that we are getting so 430 degrees celsius right so 430 430 minus the free stream temperature which is 30 degree celsius initially it was at a temperature of 1030 degree so from this initial temperature this steel ball will approach to 430 degree celsius minus 30 the free stream temperature is equal to negative h in the problem let's see the value of h is 20 watt per meter square kelvin this is 20 and surface area of sphere will be 4 pi r square okay in the problem the value of r is also given so diameter is 60 millimeter so r will be 30 millimeter right 0 0.03 meter r square whole divided by the density of steel that is 7800 multiplied by volume volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube 0 0.03 cube into time and of course the this the value of c okay we forgot to multiply the specific heat capacity that is 600 joule per kilogram kelvin so 600 now we can find the value of t from here using digital calculator we can get this value that is negative 0 0.9163 okay this is equal to negative 4.9 274 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into t okay so from here we can find the value of t 
so t will be equal to 2145.9 second or approximately we can say 2146 second now let's match with the given options so we can see here the closest option is 2144 okay only two less so option d will be the correct choice for more information you can refer to the nptl course lecture number 27 transient condition lumped parameter approach on conduction and convection heat transfer by professor suman chakraborty of the department of mechanical engineering at iit kharagpur Oh, 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 oh,